Welcome to EA Diddle Arena. The safety of our visitors is a top priority. We ask that you take a moment to familiarize yourself with these safety procedures in the unlikely event of an emergency. Should it become necessary to evacuate the arena, the person seated in the 200 sections should proceed to the nearest upper concourse ramp to exit the building. Persons seated in the 100 section should proceed down to the main floor and exit the building. Once outside, go across Avenue of Champions and gather in the open areas next to the Downing Student Union. Watch for emergency vehicles that may be responding to the arena. Remain outside until directed to return by university officials or the event staff. If a tornado warning is issued, proceed to the main hallways on either the first or second level. Gather in areas away from doors and windows. You may also, also utilize restrooms and stairwells for shelter. Thank you for your attention. Please rise in honor of the graduating class of 2023.
Thank you for your attention. Please rise in honor of the graduating class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, in honor of our graduates, we request everyone please turn off their cell phones at this time, and we ask that you please not use air horns or do anything to disturb the dignity of this event. At this time, I ask that the South Warren Senior Choir members please come forward. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors by the members of the Greenwood High School Honor Guard and the singing of the national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Please be seated. My name is Divine Rakiza, and I have the honor of delivering one of today's student speeches. Before I begin, I promised my little sisters I'd give them a shout out, so this is their shout out. Since we started preschool, we have followed the same educational routine. We start in fall, get a break in the winter and spring, and end in time for summer, then repeat. It seems like a haste to think back to, at least for me, but something about high school has felt different almost as if the seasons themselves have become embodied by each year. Let's begin with freshman year. It is a hot fall morning, the weather is starting to change, and so is everything else. The leaves are falling down and everyone is falling in. A week passes and the unfamiliar hallways start to become familiar, the upperclassmen are less intimidating, and the new rules start to make sense. The first quarter of the first year comes to an end. The birds drift south and friends drift closer or farther. 
our oldest friends become strangers and strangers become our newest friends. I would compare freshman year to the fall. And like fall prepares us for a new journey, freshman year was the beginning of the journey we end today. I think we all remember walking in those big doors on the first day and hoping not to get lost. And just, like we had got, just as soon as we had gotten the hang of it, March 13th came. If freshman year is autumn, it was an unusually cold one. The uncommonly stormy fall weather transformed into an even more unique winter. As always, there isn't much to say about the winter, which I would compare to sophomore year. Some days were good, some days were bad, but most days we were inside. Some of us finally found time to rest from our overpacked schedules and others just became restless. Actually, I think at some point all of us became restless. But I don't have to remind you all of that, you were there, virtually. But just like a snowfall forces us to stay indoors with our families and actually talk, the constant time at home forced us to look within and decide who we would become. This season, as boring and as cold as it was, prepared us for the spring that is junior year. After a chilly fall and an unusual winter, we are ready for change. The blooms of responsibility like driving and working made the future seem bright. We are finally upperclassmen and our newfound freedom definitely helped make it feel that way. Sure, the difficulty of classes and testing brought some days of thunder, but we bonded in our mutual stress and jumped into puddles together. Then suddenly, it was the last day of our fourth semester in high school and we were seniors. Now, here we are in the summer. It's a warm Saturday afternoon, four years have passed, and our final summer break is here. Summer has always been a season of freedom. We get to wake up when we want, eat when we want, and do what we want. Now, we enter into the summer when those decisions mean much more. There will be no more familiar hallways, our friends may be hours away, and the routine we have followed since preschool will be gone. This year has been both routine and different, bitter and sweet, and here we are at the crossroads of old and new. Summer is our new beginning. Adults tell us that high school, in general, is about growth and maturity. We grow in knowledge, in friends, and in each season. The change and adaptation of fall, reflection and evolving of winter, rediscovery and prosperity of spring have been critical in getting you here, to the summer, and to the beyond. We all know that the summer and life is what you make of it, so what will you do with yours? My hope for all of you is that you have a great season of change. This next stage is all up to your attitude. May it be one that brings fulfillment, purpose, and joy. May you curate a life that you are proud to share, and just like we have told each other since we were kids, I hope that you all have a great summer. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Jenny Hester, the principal of South Horn High School. Superintendent, Board of Education members, teachers, staff, parents, friends, and graduates, we welcome you to this special occasion. It is with great pride that we present to you the seniors representing the 2023 graduating class of South Horn High School. We realize that these graduates are happy and proud of their accomplishments but we know that the parents, grandparents, and guardians of these seniors are just as proud and thankful to see their child reach this milestone in their lives. Would the parents, guardians, and grandparents of the 2023 graduates please stand and be honored for the help, support, and dedication they have given these young people. I would like to introduce the platform guests at this time. Please stand when your name is called and please hold your applause until all platform guests have been introduced. Central Office Personnel, Mr. Rob Clayton, Superintendent, Warren County Schools. Mr. Jason Capcella, Assistant Superintendent, Chief Operations Officer. Dr. Melissa Stefanski, Assistant Superintendent, Chief Academic Officer. Dr. Laura Hudson, Director of Instruction for Secondary Schools. Mr. Kyle Cassidy, Director of Principal Leadership, 
At this time, I would like to recognize Mr. Kepchella and Dr. Stefanski for their years of service in Warren County Schools and for all of the support they have given and provided to South Warren High School. Congratulations on your retirement. You will be missed. Board members, Mr. Gary Chaffin, Warren County School Board Chairman, Mr. Lloyd Williford, Board Member, Mr. Adam Jackson, Board Member, Mr. Thomas Manco, Board Member. Due to a health condition, Ms. Amy Duvall, Board Vice Chairperson, is unable to be with us today. She wanted me to congratulate all graduates and their families and convey to all of you that she wishes she could be in attendance today. Feeder School Principals, Mr. Matt Deaton, South Warren Middle School, Ms. Leslie Schultz, Jody Richards Elementary, Mr. Matt Thornhill, Natcher Elementary, Mr. Ben Frazier, Plano Elementary, Mr. Derek Marr, Rich Pond Elementary, Ms. Brooke Knight, Rockfield Elementary, South Warren High School Administrators, Ms. Cynthia Bell, Mr. Jeff Ashby, and Mr. Nick Lowe, and South Warren High School Counselors, Ms. Angela Gage, Ms. Jeannie Meese, Ms. Tammy Hightower, and Ms. Kelly Reynolds. You may be seated. We also have with us this afternoon several members of our central office staff. Would our central office staff please stand and be recognized? <clears throat> there are other individuals in the guidance department at South Warren High School who we would like to recognize. Teresa Eads, Tanya Guyton, and Julie Waddell. Their contributions to the seniors and this graduation ceremony are immeasurable. Would these guidance team members please stand and be recognized? We would also like to recognize the South Warren High School Choir Director, Ms. Tiffany Harrington and band director, Mr. Chris Cecil, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Next, I would like to take a moment to recognize individuals who contributed to the education, safety, and care of the seniors on a daily basis. Would the teachers and staff of South Warren High School please stand and be recognized. You may be seated. If you are a guest with us this afternoon and you graduated from South Warren High School, please stand and be recognized. It is with great honor that I ask any of our guests in attendance who have served in our military to stand and be recognized. We appreciate your service to this country, without which our students would not be afforded the many opportunities at their disposal. At this time, I'm proud to announce the members of the class of 2023 who have committed to serving our nation. When I call your name, please stand and be recognized. Caden Brooks, Army National Guard. <laughs> Joseph Call, Army National Guard. <laughs> Devin Rood, Air Force. Kai Sum, Army. Gavin Wilson, Marines.
the class of 2023 will graduate a total of 375 students this afternoon. These graduates have been awarded in excess of $9.3 million in scholarship money. This year's graduates will receive approximately $623,000 in keys money from the state. Please note that students who earn these scholarships have been denoted in your program along with many other achievements from the graduating class of 2023. If you have received one or more scholarship offerings, or you qualify to receive keys money, please stand at this time. You may be seated. Each year of the 1.5 million students who take the PSAT, the top 3% of PSAT scorers receive commended student status. This year's class has three National Merit commended students. Please stand when I call your name. John David Abbott, Beatrice Oliveira Antunes, and Lauren Michelle Hoff. The class of 2023 also had seven students who were selected as Governor's Scholars. These students were selected to participate in a five-week summer program and are identified as top academic students in the state. Please stand when your name is called. John David Abbott, Ava Baker, Divine Irkiza, Madison Limley, Beatrice Oliveira Antunes, Antonio San Cristobal Schwenard and Noah Wells. You may be seated. The class of 2023 also had three students who were selected for the Governor's School for Entrepreneurs. Students are selected to participate in a residential summer program where creative, free-thinking teens learn and do product innovation and business model design. Please stand when your name is called. Divine Irakiza, Alana Carpenter, and Elijah Carter. The senior class had three students selected to participate in the Kentucky Governor's School for the Arts program. Students are selected to attend a three-week immersive summer program after an application and audition process. Please stand and be recognized. Divine Irakiza, Antonia San Cristobal Schwenard, and Carson Green. Each year, up to 161 students are named as Presidential Scholars, one of the nation's highest honors for high school students. The White House Commission on Presidential Scholars selects students annually based on their academic success, artistic and technical excellence, essays, school evaluations and transcripts, as well as a demonstrated commitment to community service and leadership. This year, we are proud to announce that a member of the South Warren Class of 2023 has been selected for this honor and ask at this time that Beatrice Oliveira and Tunis please stand and be recognized. The College Board recognizes high school students who have distinguished themselves academically by announcing Advanced Placement Award recipients. The AP Scholar Award is granted to students who receive grades of three or higher on three or more AP exams. South Warren has 18 seniors who have been named AP Scholar by the College Board. Please stand when your name is called. 
Hiromu Aono, Jenna Atwell, Ava Valinowski, Maura Bowers, Alana Carpenter, Elijah Carter, Isaac Deaton, Haley Fulcher, Divine Erikiza, River Murs, Parker Morris, Nyla Wanguma, Riley Regal, Isabella Chavez, Emma Terrell, William Trussell, Duncan Whalen, and Ethan Wynn. Four students have been named an AP Scholar with honors by scoring at least a 3.25 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on four or more of these exams due to their outstanding performance on AP exams. Please stand when your name is called. John David Abbott, Luke Brandt, Carson Gammons, and Antonio San Cristofal Schwenard. The following students have been named as AP Scholars with distinction by having an average score of at least a 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more of these exams. There are four members of this class who have been given this award. Beatrice Oliveira in Tunis, Brett Hazlip, Lauren Poff, and Micah Rowland. The following students were invited and inducted into the National Beta Club. These individuals had to maintain a minimum of a 3.5 GPA and serve at least 20 hours of community service. These individuals can be identified by the beta symbol they wear on their honor sash. Would all 72 seniors graduating with beta honors please stand and be recognized? You may be seated. The next group to be recognized is the National Art Honor Society. Student members must maintain a 3.5 GPA in visual art courses and maintain a 3.0 cumulative GPA in all other subjects. These students can be identified by the Art Honor Society symbol worn on their honor sash. Would the four students who have earned this honor please stand and be recognized? The seal of biliteracy is given in recognition of students who have demonstrated proficiency in two or more languages. St students must be able to speak, listen, read and write in both English and an additional language. Students show mastery by passing a language exam. The following students have earned the seal of biliteracy. Beatrice Oliveira in Tunis, Monica Luca, and Antonia San Cristofal Schonard. We have six seniors who have applied for and received the WCPS SCK Launch Work Ethics Certification. This certification is awarded to high school seniors who complete a series of accomplishments that include activities, courses, and experiences to foster career readiness and portrays the ideal graduate. It validates that the individual has acquired habits, knowledge, and skills foundational to entering the workforce and thereby signals to employees that a student is prepared to engage in the workforce. Please stand when your name is called. Lily Dozak, Addison Fisher, Bradley Lewis, Itzel Rangel Hernandez, Lauren Poff, and Isabella Chavez.
The following three students have achieved the title of Eagle Scout. The Eagle Scout Award is the highest award available to youth members of the Boy Scouts of America. Please stand when your name is called. John David Abbott, Jonah Moore, and Parker Morris. We also have one student who has earned the Girl Scout Gold Award. This is the highest award a member of the Girl Scouts of the USA can earn. McKenna Westray, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> this year we have one student who has earned perfect attendance for the past two years. Parker Morris, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> South Warren offers a variety of dual credit options, and we are extremely proud of the dual credit partnership that we have with Western Kentucky University, South Central Kentucky Community and Technical College, and Campbellsville University. We are equally proud of our large enrollments in these courses. If you took a dual credit course, please stand and be recognized. You may be seated. Each year we are preparing our students to be career and college ready. Students can become career and college ready by meeting state benchmarks on ACT, Coyote, EOP, qualifying dual credit courses, or receiving other industry certifications. As of May 25th, 361 seniors are career and college ready. If you have met college or career readiness benchmarks, please stand and be recognized. This year's class has 240 students who have been designated as honor graduates. The honor graduates have received blue honor sashes for this achievement. These students have obtained a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher during their four years of high school. Would the 240 honor graduates please stand and be recognized for your hard work and dedication. South Warren would like to recognize those students who have made straight A's for all credits earned in all classes throughout high school. This year we have 60 students with a perfect 4.0 GPA. These graduates have received silver honor cords for their achievement. Would you please stand when your name is called? John Abbott, Alyssa Ackerman, Hiromu Aono. Jenna Atwell, Elijah Baker, Ava Balinowski, Madeline Barbie, Christopher Barnes, Madison Bonner, Luke Brandt, Mia Chapman, Dominique Collier, Ansley Cruz, Singh Dem, Cody L, Addison Fisher, Andrew Flynn, Emma Forney, Lydia Frank, Haley Fulcher, Carson Gammons, Jacob Gilbreth, Ansley Graves, Roddick Harris, Grace Himmelbrand, Gracie Hodges, Sabbath Hain, Keeley Hoffman, Shayla Husick, Madeline Irvin, Hannah Jackson, Julia Kettering, Megan Kitchens, Madison Limley, Paige Logston, Luke Luttrell, Elizabeth Morrow, Mila Munrath, Nadia Nambong, Erin Noble, John O'Brien, Beatrice Oliveira Antunes, Jay Patel, Aidan Pierce, 
Callie Pitcock, Lauren Poff, Itzel Rangel, Ryan Regal, Riley Regal, Kaylee Richardson, Antonio San Cristobal Schwenard, Jonna Smith, William Trussell, Leah Upchurch, Duncan Whalen, Hope White, Kendall Willingham, Gavin Wilson, Ethan Wynn, and Anthony Young. Lastly, we would like to recognize the top academic seniors from the class of 2023. These students are ranked as of the very last day of the school year. These rankings are obtained by using the weighted grades received from various advanced placement classes offered at South Warren High School. Would you be, please stand as your name is called and remain standing. Number one, with a GPA of 4.44398, Beatrice Oliveira in Tunis. Number two, with a GPA of 4.42264, John David Abbott. Number three, with a GPA of 4.28645, Antonia San Cristobal Schonard. Number four, with a GPA of 4.25623, Lauren Poff. Number five, with a GPA of 4.25263, Sing Them. Number six, with a GPA of 4.22776, Brett Hazlip. Number seven, with a GPA of 4.2103, Duncan Whalen. Number eight, with a GPA of 4.20447, Hiromu Aono. Number nine, with a GPA of 4.19623, Nyla Wanguma. And number 10, with a GPA of 4.17082, Divine Irakiza. <laughs> to you, the class of 2023. Today marks a milestone as you graduate from South Warren High School. It is a day of change, the day that you go from being a high school student to a high school graduate. And as you face the changes ahead of you, you will undoubtedly encounter challenges and opportunities, failures and successes, much like the last four years. I remember your first class meeting as freshmen. I told you the story of a man by the name of Wes Moore whom I'd had the opportunity to hear speak many years ago. His story was one of perseverance and overcoming adversity. And like Wes Moore challenged each of us in the audience that day, I charged you with one thing. Make sure it mattered that you were even here. I didn't know at the time how pertinent that story of perseverance would be for this class when just a few short months later, your high school journey was altered by the pandemic. Despite the obstacles you faced, you did just that. You made sure it mattered that you were even here. The accolades that you have received are too numerous to list. Your school and your community is a better place because of your accomplishments in the classroom on the court and field, and through extracurricular activities. You embodied what it means to be a Spartan, displaying pride, strength, and honor. And so it seems only fitting that as you sit before me one last time, as the class of 2023, well prepared to go out into this world, that I charge you with those words again make sure it mattered that you were even here. You have been given a firm foundation. Embrace the changes that lie ahead with the same enthusiasm and tenacity that you have the last four years. You have left your mark on South Warren High School. Now go leave your mark on the world and make Sparta proud.
Superintendent Clayton and board members, please stand. On behalf of the administrative staff, I verify that these members of the 2023 class of South Warren High School have met all graduation requirements of South Warren High School, the Warren County Board of Education, and the Kentucky State Department of Education. I take great pride in presenting them to you as they come forward to receive their diplomas. To help ensure the dignity of this monumental event in their lives, I ask that you politely hold your applause until each individual row returns to their seats after they have received their diplomas. Row one, please stand and come forward. John David Abbott. Alyssa Michelle Ackerman, Gabrielle Ray Adams, John Oliver Alexander, Anastasia Zerlina Alvarez. Porter Douglas Anderson. Kimberly Ruth Anspaugh. Huromu Ayano. Michael Edward Arnett. Jenna Leanne Atwell. Allison Faith Aubrey. Selden Abdick. Colton Lee Baird. Samuel Blaine Bays. Ava Laura Baker. Ava Noel Balanowski. Garrett Allen Ballard. Garrett Sheridan Bandrowski. Madeline Elizabeth Barbie. Christopher Aiden Barnes. Alexander Xavier Bass. Patrick William Bearden. Mira Besarovich. Preston Thomas B.
Please be seated. Would row two please stand and come forward. Olivia Nicole Bingston. Mason Andrew Benningfield. Chloe Elizabeth Biggs. Colton Lee Binkley. Tucker Lane Bishop. Corey Eat Bitterling. Andrea Nicole Black. Landon Douglas Blackburn. Savannah Ray Blackburn. Evan Craig Blythe. Madison Sky Bonner. Haley Lynn Bolden. Moira Bowers. Luke Danielle Brandt. Franklin Wells Bratcher. Hannah Catherine Brooks. Caden Reese Brooks. Ayla Jane Brown. David McClellan Brown. Taylor Renee Brown. Michael Austin Birch. McKenna Nicole Burke. Preston Coleman Burns. Katarina Burris. Please be seated. Would row three please stand and come forward. Dylan Ray Bush. Claudia Judith Butts. Casper Bird. Caroline Gray Calvert. Eli Wayne Caps. Bailey Jean Cardwell. Christopher J. Cardwell. Alana Elizabeth Carpenter.
Elijah Washington Carter. Mia Estrella Castillo. Sui Min Seer. Harley Madison Chapman. Mia Elizabeth Chapman. Lul Ma Chuana. Elijah Thomas Chumney. Dominique Elizabeth Collier. Reese David Conley. Christian Sharif Conyer. Audrey Wells Cook. Kennedy Carl Corradini. Anna Kosick. Ali Elizabeth Costello. Macy Allen Croft. Garrett Mitchell Crossland. Please be seated. Would row four please stand and come forward. Ainsley Michelle Cruz. Jackson Chase Cummings. Clayton William Daniels. Cadence James Davidson. Riley Locke Davidson. Isaac Matthew Deaton. Samuel Joseph Dagenhart. Nathan Daniel DeRhodes. Mason Thomas DeVries. Sierra Stacy Jame. Garrett Wayne Dillon. Sin Cop Dim. Ching Sian Dim. Lily Jane Dozak. Jake Birchell Duff.
Landon Cade Duval. Zachary Daniel Eads. Cody Jacob L. Katie Lynn Elliott. Brendan Lee Ely. Kati Paola Arazo Solis. Brianna Ray Essig. Katrina Rain Essig. Ava Elizabeth Evans. Please be seated. Would row five please stand and come forward. Ellie Clara Falk. Addison Brooke Fisher. Mia Gray Fisher. Caleb McGuire Flock. Andrew Mack Flynn. Emma Grace Forney. Selena Jean Fox. Lydia Grace Frank. Broderick Wayne Freeman. Noah J. Freeman. Haley Nicole Fulcher. Hayden Marie Gambarini. Carson Denton Gammons. Mallory Hope Garner. Zetarian Quantavius Garrett. Tykedra Nicole Garrett. Maria Angela Geis. Jacob Vance Gilbreth. Andrew Shane Givens. Sydney Blair Glenn. Andrew Nicholas Goley. Adla Golobovich. Lizbeth Gonzalez. Ansley Christine Graves.
Please be seated. Would row six please stand and come forward. Chloe Elizabeth Graves. Landon Robert Graves. Gavin Jack Graw. Carson Kimball Green. Lily May Green. Mackenzie May Greer. Garrett Oren Grimes. Ethan Paxton Guthrie. Catherine Marie Hagee. Jennifer Eleanor Hall. Jacob Kincaid Hammers. Caden Marcus Hancock. Robbie Lynn Hanner. Kawan Lamont Hardesty Jr. Samuel Payne Harrington. Roddick Peterson Harris. Danielle Sterling Hartz. Fatima Anar Hasanova. Khadija Anar Hasanova. Seth Benjamin Hopp. Gabrielle Xavier Haynes. Kinley Grace Hazard. Stephen Brett Hazlip. Lyndon Marshall Hazelwood. Please be seated. Would row seven please stand and come forward. Parker or Reagan Parker Helm. Charles William Hendricks. Karen Hernandez. Catherine Lizeth Hernandez Mendez. Jackson Paul Herod. Briley Kate Hester. Victoria Catherine Higgins. Elijah Tanner Ross Hildreth. Ethan Scott Hill. Grace Marie Himmelbrand. 
Gracie Celeste Hodges. Nikayla Eve Hain. Sabbath Eve Hain. Keely Estelle Hoffman. Teresa Michelle Holland. Ethan Joseph Holt. Derek Zachary Horn. Ahmed Horizovich. Haley Rain Hoy. Saw Ta Tu. Harold Richard Humbert the Fourth. Morrison James Hunter. Isla Husick. Shayla Husick. Please be seated. Would row eight please stand and come forward. Hui Hung Win. Haley Marie Emberwitz. Divine Sanga Irakiza. <laughs> Madeline Elise Irvin. John Ryan Ives. Hannah Grace Jackson. Connor Frank Jap. Brenna Marie Jernigan. Cameron Thomas Johnson. Hannah Elizabeth Johnson. Parker McKenna Johnson. Samuel Allen Johnson. Jackson Paul Joyner. Chandler Stephen Jones. Caris Andales Kamenini. Alif Karadasheva, Jordan Chanel Keller, Julia Lynn Kettering, Nicole Aubrey Kettering, Mallory Brooke Key. Joseph Halshin Swamp Qual. <laughs> Jacob Michael Kinsler. Alden Cole Kitchens. Gavin Shane Kitchens.
please be seated. Would row nine please stand and come forward. Megan Faith Kitchens. Martha Copey. Sophia Adela Crone. Kelly Leanne Lamb. Haley Ray Lance. Cheyenne Faith Larson, Macy Lee Larson, Micah Cornell LaRue Flood, Camden Bruce Lee, Robert Jacob Lee, Madison June Limley. Bradley Thomas Lewis. Jack Andrew Lewis. Olivia Cecil Lewis. Solomon Key Ling. Andrew Ryan Denny Linhort. <laughs> Amelia Victoria Lees. <laughs> Paige Riley Logston. <laughs> Derek Allen London. Monica Luca. Drew Bradley Lucas. Mon Cien Loon. Luke Jackson Luttrell. Amar Mamotopic. Please be seated. Would row 10 please stand and come forward. Lila Claire Mantooth. Sierra Elise Matney. Brooklyn Taylor McKay. Reagan Kinsey McKitty. Avery Lee McNeely. Mallory Grace Meadows. U May Sue May River Mers Sierra Noel Medcalf 
Alexia Nicole Metz. Andrew Kenton Milam. Keegan Michael Milby. Jackson Christopher Miller. Mary Claire Miller. Victoria Catherine Grace Miller. Jonah Arico Moore. Aspen Marie Mora. Parker Lee Morris. Elizabeth Gail Morrow. Mila Kennelly Moonrath. Nadia Grace Nambong. Priska Sheshe Nza. Landon Bailey Neal. Please be seated. Would row 11 please stand and come forward. Aaron Charles Noble. Brexton Earl Nobles. Matthew Scott Norwood. Nyla Chanera Wanguma. John Edward O'Brien. Giovanna Oliva. Beatrice Oliveira and Tunez. Madeline Grace Osman. Aubrey Rachel Pardue. Claire Marie Pascal. Arena Patel. J. Jignesh Kumar Patel. Renvi M. Patel. Rhea Karit Kumar Patel. Joshua Daniel Pedigo. Mackenzie Faith Pedigo. Aiden James Pierce. Marisol Abigail Perez Ku. Briley K. Person. Cody Riley Peterson. Jada Lane Peterson. Dylan Reese Fitzer. Callie Ann Pitcock. Lauren Michelle Poff.
Please be seated. Would row 12 please stand and come forward. John Elliott Porter. Justin Samuel Posey. Mackenzie Lee Petit. Haley Nicole Price. Andrew Pascal Putman. Itzel Rangel. Sebastian Ratusny. Jackson Christian Raybold. Robert Davis Reedy. Ryan Schwinn Regal. Riley Wingy Regal. Justin A. Racinos. Zachary Thomas Reed. Zoe Lillian Reed. William Cooper Rhodes. Saw Saw Hari. Kaylee Bree Richardson. Jormarie Julesi Rivera Burjos. Devin Rude. Brandon Marcellus Rowe. Micah Ray Rowland. Aileen Sadakovich. Nayla Sadakovich. Haley Nicole Sains. Please be seated. Would row 13 please stand and come forward. Alden Sakic. Sing San. Anatonia France San Cristobal Chouinard. Livelin Eileen Sanders. Dal Sian Sang. Za Sang. Michaela Faith Scarborough. Philip Landon Schmidt. Luke Schmidt. Jared Lee Sale. Dakota James Sexton. Woo! 
Hayden Cooper Shaw. Madison Grace Schartzer. Isabella Marie Chevetz. Karen Marie Schrader. Mary Shashan. Paul Sion. Kendall Beth Simmons. Nathan Xander Simpson. Dalton Paul Sissons. Molly Rebecca Seitz. Avery Meredith Skaggs. Trayton John Skinner. Izo Smagic. Please be seated. Would row 14 please stand and come forward. Jack Everett Smalling. Jonna Nicole Smith. Lucas Alexander Smith. Mason Alexander Smith. Spencer Stephen Smith. Troy Gabriel Smith. Olivia Mardell Spears. Aiden Richard Spencer. Lorna Millie Suchi. Kai Sum. Anantra Sun. McKenna Reese Sweeney. Jacob Michael Swift. Jackson Thomas Talley. Jackson Henry Tatum. Oscar Telez Guerrera. Emma Madison Terrell. Layla Elise Terrell. Riley Nicole Thompson. Cameron Allen Thornton. William Clay Trussell. Leah Elizabeth Upchurch. Kaylee Alexis Walker. Joseph Trey Walker.
Please be seated. Would row 15 please stand and come forward. Katie Jane Walker. Noah David Wells. McKenna Marie Westray. Duncan Eli Whalen. Hope Bryant White. Luke S. White. Carly Madison Williams. Kendall Allison Willingham. Kanan Thomas Willis. Gage Harrison Willoughby. Drew Altman Wilson. Gavin Michael Wilson. Ethan Daniel Wynn. Caitlin Ruthann Wicks. Antone Donche Young. Jacob Thomas Young. Rebecca K. Young. Zarina Zarahovich. Amin Ziga. Please be seated. Good afternoon. I want to begin by saying that I am genuinely proud of every single one of us graduating today because being here and accepting this diploma shows that we came to school at least a little, which is especially hard to safely do this day and age. So just that alone is noteworthy. Now, I could stand up here and talk to you all about how much time has flown and how it feels like just yesterday we were holding on to the legs of our parents praying that kindergarten was just some sort of twisted joke or how we just walked into the high school building trying to figure out how to get to Algebra 1 or for some of us how to avoid it. But either way, those are nostalgic feelings that we are all too familiar with. A newer feeling is our next journey into life, which sounds cliche because it is. However, not in the high school musical dancing in the lunchroom cliche, but in the way that we actually grew up and we are actually hitting the milestone. 
It's finally our turn to cross over into adulthood, which some of us never thought that we could. There are so many good experiences from high school, things that we should reminisce on, cherish, and learn from. Let's go back to freshman year, which for some reason I tie to the box by Roddy Rich, but others may tie it to hydro flasks hitting the floor, social studies with Mr. Haberlock, or the unfortunate PE class. All things we had to do, but learn to love. And the life lesson learned in these moments is that we can do the hard things that we do not want to do, like the almost six months we weren't in school. But when we finally came back for sophomore year, it was interesting to see how close we got with the people within our designated last name groups. I, for one, didn't realize how much I would enjoy the people with the last names from M through Z on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But I did, and that taught the valuable lesson to be open to new friendships and take what life gives in stride. And we can make it through difficult times, which leads us to our junior year. We had some great moments, the football championship, the quartet from Bye Bye Birdie, and Mr. Jenkins. But we also had some not so great moments, difficult classes and the ACT. The lesson I would like to draw from that is that there will always be bright spots and hard times. Look for those and they will lead you to better days. Just like it did our senior year, which was filled with memories, nostalgia, sadness, but most of all, eagerness. Eagerness to say goodbye to this life chapter and hello to our fast approaching next life chapter. With each lesson learned from each year of high school, we should honor them and use them in our post-secondary adventures and remember to be lifelong learners. I love you all, I'm grateful for you all, and remember that will forever and always be 23 on top. I'm chopping onions up here, don't worry. Now, would the graduating class of 2023 please stand? <laughs> Graduates, please move your tassel to the left. and turn your stole. <laughs> I proudly present the class of 2023.